Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're looking to find the domain of the function g of t is equal to the square root of 3 minus t minus the square root of 2 plus t. So when we're looking at the domain of the function, our starting point is all real numbers, negative infinity to positive infinity. And we're going to look at our function and say, okay, which values can we restrict from this range? And here, the only way that we can have a value that's invalid is if these, one of these square roots is the square root of a negative number. So for here, that means that 3 minus t has to be a non-negative number. It has to be greater than or equal to 0. And the same thing here, 2 plus t has to be greater than or equal to 0 as well. So then, solving for t here, we have negative t is greater than or equal to negative 3. Therefore, t has to be less than or equal to positive 3, right? Dividing by negative 1, make sure to flip the sign. And a similar thing here, t has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. So for a valid input of g to exist, it has to satisfy both of these restraints, greater than negative 2 and less than or equal to 3. Therefore, t has to follow both of these, and we can put it in a double inequality. t is less than or equal to 3, but greater than or equal to negative 2. If you want to do this in interval form, like I have this up here, you can do negative 2, make sure that's a hard bracket, because we're including 2 and 3. But either way, this is the domain of the function g of t.